Good morning and welcome to Real Talk with Tamara. As you guys come into the room, please hit the like button. Also, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. I want you guys to know how much I appreciate you so much. Okay. I appreciate you so much. Um, all of my subscribers that have been here with me from the beginning, all of my subscribers, um, you know, that are just coming in. I appreciate you guys a lot. This morning, I wanted to talk about Jaguar Wright. Okay. Jaguar Wright, as you know, um, was a singer. Um, for the most part, she always did background singing for a lot of big celebrities, but she even, you know, uh, did some shows herself, um, did music herself. Um, and she had the opportunity to um, see a lot within the devilish industry. And Jaguar Wright ended up exposing a lot of the devils and a lot of the devilish things um, that has gone on in the music industry. Um for a while, she went away because she talked about how she had been receiving death threats and things of that nature. She exposed a lot of stuff about Alicia Keys, about Beyonce and Jay-Z, especially Puffy, just a lot because she was in the midst of all of that. Um, I'm pretty sure she at one point participated in it um, or had some type of participation in it, even if it was very minimum because they would not have allowed her to witness something that she was not in participation with. The thing about Jaguar, Jaguar Wright is that um, I think Jaguar Wright, whatever she participated in, she doesn't have a problem with talking about it, right? Um, um, I could tell that Jaguar has gone through a lot in her life. And me personally, I believed and believe what she has said about a lot of things that go on in the industry. She would not be the first one um, to say it. She talked about her uh, battle with drug use and things of that nature. Well, um, recently, you know, she, she, it seems like that Jaguar had lost her. She had a, you know, got into a fight with her husband and it was very, very bizarre. I want to show you guys. Before I go further, I want you guys to see this. Hey, what up, they got going on 20 and them? You go make This is her business. This ain't my phone. This is her phone. That's phone. Don't even matter. Yeah, it's not in my phone. <laughs> Oh, I believe you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Please protect it. Thank you. That's all I'm here for. Yeah, you do. You want to throw my fucking? Hey, you want? What the fuck? What the fuck? Hold up. 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 Hold Okay, so what we're seeing here is Jaguar ran up on her husband and attacked him. She is definitely angry and in a rage. This is my brother. Don't let us fight. This is my brother. Why you want us to fight? I love him. He needs help. You fucking done. Get the fuck out of here. Fuck that shit. Fuck it all. Fuck it all. 
This what this fucking pussy done to my nephew. This what this fucking pussy's doing my fucking nephew. Fuck this nigga. Fuck this nigga. Oh, you want to be fucked? They all fucking dead. They all, all y'all fucking niggas is dead. All your fucking niggas. Solo! 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 Come! Okay, what I see right here, I could tell at that point that Jaguar um, had flipped. You could tell that she is not herself. She had turned into a complete other person, okay? That's why I always say I pay close attention to people's eyes, okay? And you could definitely see it in her eyes, but I'm going to play the video more. I can drive. No, don't drive. I'm driving. Can you drive into the car and, and we just park and talk? Please. Oh, my dear son. Oh, my dear son. Please, I know you want to oh drive. Oh, my dear son. Oh, my dear son. Oh, my dear son. Oh, my son. Oh, my we're, son. We're God They're people. all dead. No, they're, they're not. all dead. They're all dead. They're all dead. They're all dead. Look at me, look at me, look at me, life and love, only, no bad juju, no bad voodoo, you love them, fuck you, you love them, fuck you, stop, you're dead, you love them, you're dead, they've had your back you're for dead. a long time, no they haven't, they never had they my back, they don't know what's going on, they never had my back, he told me how much he wants to protect you. They never had my back. Nobody up there. Listen to me. I got my back. Get in the fucking car. Love Get in the car. Get in the car. Get in the fucking car. I'm going to show these niggas what hell to scout says. I love you, Jay. I have to tell you the truth. Do you got your phone? 
No. Do you got your phone? No. Get your phone and get in the car. Right, we, we right here. I swear okay. to God, if it takes you more than two minutes, you, if it takes you more than two minutes to get your fucking phone, I'm going in. I'm going to commit murder. I'm going to come get your phone. Get I'm, your fucking phone. I'm going to kill these fucking niggas. You fucking niggas. Get your fucking You put your hands on my fucking nephew, wait, yo. Wait, 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 wait. Give him his motherfucking phone. Give my nephew his motherfucking phone. Sorry, y'all. I think I need to call the cops. Fucking motherfucker. Give him his goddamn phone, Bobby. Y'all, what I just witnessed was two or three different people. Okay. Uh, it could be a mixture of drugs, but I definitely think mental illness. Um, she's definitely a 603. Okay. Um, that is off of her meds. I could tell that she was not on her meds. 603 is crazy in police terms. Okay. A mental patient. Um, I, hey, um, as I was saying before, it's hard for me to believe that Jaguar Wright was involved in the industry and she was able to witness and know so much without being a part of it. That right there, you could tell it comes up because her nephew says, love and light. I do believe that it affected her also, um, you know, um, because of the rituals and things and the voodoo and the jujus and all of that stuff that they do uh, within the industry with all of that bad witchcraft, I think it affects a lot of people mentally. Uh, Jaguar Wright, if you know, I'm reminded of when Beyonce. I just I want to show this. I I just I I do I want to show it. Okay, this is how I know that you know these people do these rituals and things of that nature and. It affects them, okay? Hold on. <sighs> this right here has always stood out to me. I know a lot of people love Beyonce. I, I like Beyonce's music too. I'm going to tell you that right now. I listen to her music, but I think a lot of these celebrities are on um, something. It won't show the video, but it'll show um, the post. Hmm. It'll show the photos, but it won't show the video. But, uh, you know, I'm kind of reminded it, it was always something wrong with this right here, too. When she sat at that game and she was in a daze. OK, I know y'all can remember this when they was at that game. And you look at her eyes with the type of success that Beyonce has. We know that a lot of times they have some they might have some type of mental illness or something going on. They have to be on pills and things of that nature to be able to handle a lot of she doesn't even look like she was there okay these people in the industry they have a lot of evil people around them um and i think especially if you come from a foundation where you know where you was raised up to believe in god and things of nature and then you find yourself getting into other things for fame and money um you have to sedate yourself in some kind of way right um, in order to cope with it. This is not something 
that I'm conjuring up or some of these people that they that the media make crazy when they can't take anymore. Because when you have a foundation built on God, even when you're participating in stuff like that, such as Jaguar, right, such as some of these other ones that they've tried to make crazy, a lot of times you lose your mind to get back to yourself. When you're trying to get back to yourself and that foundation that was built, instilled in you from a child, if you was you know, raised up on a godly foundation, they'll make you think you're losing your mind because this devilish stuff is going to mess with you anyways because you know it's not right. Um, I do think that Jaguar Wright has mental illnesses. It could, uh, you know, couple with mental illness, coupled with drugs is it, we, it's scary. We see this. Um, but definitely some sadistic stuff that has gone on that made her lose her mind. And I think whenever that sadistic situation was going on, that's where she that she lost herself in the midst of that. And we see it coming out, these rituals and things that they do in the industry, uh, which is the reason why she started exposing the industry. We see that she is not coping good with that, right? Like I said, coupled with drugs, more than likely in things of that nature. Um, what kind of drugs she's on, I don't know. I'm, hey, I do know some mental meds. And she ain't on them, okay? And they need to get them, get her on them quick or get her to a, to the damn crazy house, okay? And I'm not saying that because I like the Jaguar, right? But she is off, she's out of her mind right now. She's stone cold out of her mind. And she needs to get to a crazy house. Calling the police so that they can get her to the crazy house. All they're going to say is we got a 603. Get her in immediately so that they can go ahead and get her meds and her. And that's the only thing that they could do because she offer her rockers for real. Okay. And the people around her should not be allowing her to get off of her meds. Cause I do believe when you go that crazy, when you are out there like that, you can definitely, you know, kill somebody. Okay. You saw what was on her mind. Her nephew tried to help her bring a bag saying love and light. That's how you know that the root of this mental illness has something to do with a lot of those rituals that was done in the industry. That's why I say, y'all, we have to be extremely meticulous when people start exposing the industry and things of that nature. This is what happens. This is not the first time that something like this has happened to celebrities that has been kicked out of the industry um, or whatever that has been blackballed because you know, maybe they didn't want to do this sadistic evil stuff anymore. If you have not been delivered from that, that it still comes back up. Some people like Puffy is just comfortable with the stuff because they like it. They like being evil and things of that nature. So even though we don't look at them as being mentally sick, they're the ones that's mentally sick because they love it. They're comfortable. You know, they're not flipping out and things of that nature because they love what they do. It's not fucking with them, you know, doing rituals on children and cats and dogs. Because, you know, they go and they have little rituals where they go kill animals and things of that nature. You know, torture animals and stuff like that. Um, they have little codes and things of that nature. I can remember when I first started my TV show. There's this guy. He is a celebrity. He's my Facebook friend, a white guy. He is, he has, he's a, he's a celebrity videographer and he had been talking about i was you know we had been uh talking back and forth this was some year uh, a couple years back on youtube uh, on facebook about um you know him teaching me about uh videography you know him doing classes and things of that nature and i mean his repertoire was long he had the pictures to prove it and I remember he said, um, I want to come to Memphis. And I think he did a code, you know, to see, you know, if I was into the type of shit they was into. He said, we had, I was at a, let me see, it was some kind of a ceremony. He said the word. I said, what? Excuse me? And then he changed it. But anyways, I looked it up. It kind of stuck out to me because it's actually like a ceremony where they go and torture animals and cats and stuff like that a lot of those celebrities do that hold on a ceremony i don't know the words um It's like a ritualistic uh, cat torture and stuff. It's, it's, it's very sadistic. 
and I started looking at his eyes. And even though he seemed like he he might have, you know, hey, I don't know who could be, but I think that was a code because he's done he's done video work for some of these big movies and stuff. I don't even know how in the hell we end up being Facebook friends. Like I don't be knowing how. You know, I end up Facebook friends with some of these people probably early on when I was putting my TV show and stuff out there. A lot of them probably requested my friendship because I don't even be on Facebook no more. But um, they always throw out, say code, say things uh, to see if you're going to catch it because they're into this sadistic stuff. You know, that's why they're abducting these. So many kids are going missing and things of that nature. Yes, to put them into human trafficking, but a lot of these celebrities these missing runaways and these missing kids and stuff, they steal them to do rituals on them and kill them. Like it, this stuff is real. Um, Jaguar Wright, crazy as hell. She, she definitely needs some mental help, but she telling the truth about the damn industry. Okay. And people tend not to believe people like her because they say she's crazy. Crazy people tell the truth too. That's what make them seem crazy because you know, the, the truth is stranger. Okay. Than fiction. Right. So, you know, let's just pray for Jaguar, right? Because, um, you know, she was saying Clive Davidson then was after her when she was she was dropping a lot of gems. When people said Clive Davidson ain't thinking about her, the hell you say if somebody has been in the end and they know inside and they know what you got going on, why wouldn't you be a threat to them? Right? Why wouldn't you be a threat to them? So... Anyways, I just wanted to show you all that. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you all would like to uh, donate to the channel, you could definitely uh, do it via cash app. Okay? I'll talk with you guys later.